Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and it is finally happening. We are getting a summer 2020 GT Online DLC. I'm bringing you this vehicle, uh, this video, sorry, really quick. You can tell I'm super, super hyped about this vehicle. Um, I keep saying vehicle, about this um, update, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, I'm going to be showing you right here the Rockstar Newswire that reveals a load of um, details about the new update, um, as well as the brand new vehicle. Um, well, there's going to be a bunch of new vehicles, but the one that I've been asking for for absolutely ages, I'm finally getting a Dodge Daytona. Hopefully we're going to get a massive wing for this thing. If they don't put the massive wing on this, I am going to be absolutely pissed. But anyway, let's hope they do. Let's just jump in straight onto the Newswire page. And here we go. It says, Los Santos Summer Special coming August 11th. So there's not really going to be a theme to this DLC. It's just going to be sort of like uh, Los Santos Summer Special. They've kind of thrown a mixed bag of content that... Um, People have been asking for, um, ignore that, uh, like the Dodge Daytona here. It doesn't have a massive wing on the picture, so I really hope that is an add-on. Um, but you can see the front bumper there is definitely a Dodge Daytona. The back does look a bit shorter though, so um, let's just hope we get that. But let's just go and read uh, some of the things that it says. So it says, make the most of the remaining dog days of the Southern San Andreas summer. Uh, with a host of new activities hitting GT Online next week uh, for August 11th. That is when it's coming out. Uh, featuring everything from new tents, new co-op missions launched from your Galaxy Super Yacht. So that actually giving us a purpose to own a Galaxy Super Yacht now, which I do own one of those. Um, but those of you who don't, you might want to buy one. Uh, for this DLC. Um, I guess we'll find out when the DLC drops. Whether you will need one or not. Um, we'll be checking out all the content. Um, so if you're interested in that. Subscribe. Little cheeky plug. Uh, but it says. Uh, you'll launch the missions from your super yacht. Uh, to track. Uh, to the track based. Thrills of new open wheel races. So we're going to be getting new open wheel races. And I think we might get a couple more open wheel vehicles as well. Because we only have two at the moment. Which is not a whole lot. So hopefully we get some more of those. Because they were really cool. Um, we get a fleet of new vehicles to acquire. And much more. Which they always put much more. Obviously there's going to be more content than just that. We get a look at one of the new vehicles here. As I mentioned, this is sort of based off the... Uh, it's like a Plymouth Superbird slash Dodge Daytona. They're very similar vehicles in real life. So I feel like Rockstar probably mash those two together. Um, these gills on the side and like the side profile do remind me a bit of the Gauntlet Classic. So whether it's like a Gauntlet Classic Daytona or something like that. Um, but the Gauntlet Classic already had a big wing on the back. So... I guess we'll find out. Um, Summer in Los Santos has something for everyone. We get a picture of the Galaxy Super Yacht there. I can't see anything new from this picture. Obviously, the yacht was already there and they already have helicopters and all the boats. So, nothing new to report in that image. But it does look like we're going to have a use for the Galaxy Yacht. Which is something that a lot of people complained about Um in GTA is the yachts are really cool but they are really pricey and they literally just a building they do absolutely nothing yeah you get a jacuzzi and helicopter but I mean um, it's not really worth the eight million dollar asking price so looks like we're finally going to have a use for the yachts and uh, something I want to mention this DLC um, Rockstar even admitted themselves that they're adding a lot of features that people have asked for so this is going to be kind of like a quality of life style update um, so a lot of the things that you might have asked for you might be seeing them in this uh, update we don't know the full extent of what everything's going to be released um, but we're going to finally have a use for the yacht so we get a bit more information it says Galaxy Super Yacht owners will be will be able to engage in an all-new series of missions, either alone or with up to three shipmates, which kind of sounds like a naval DLC, I'm not going to lie. Maybe this is um, maybe this is going to be like the start of a naval DLC. 
Um, it says everything from deep sea diving to high sp high speed high drinks on the high seas. That's a bit difficult to say. Ignore that's just a quad bike in the background. Uh, there's action for sailors of all stripes. So we might not actually see a naval DLC uh, in GT Online, but it looks like they're going to incorporate a lot of naval DLC things into this update and those of you who follow the channel uh, will know that I am a big boat guy um, I like boats in GTA and in real life and uh, I've been asking for a naval DLC for ages so if we get some of that content in this update that'll be incredible uh, between delivery sale deliveries and sales the upwardly mobile can take to the streets in a new business battles so there's going to be new business battles, which is absolutely awesome, in some surprising locations for serious rewards. So this looks like a surprising location. Obviously, this is the Diamond Casino. Um, the Diamond Casino Resort will also see a new range of adversary modes. So I guess this is going to be like the slasher adversary modes. Like we got the Bunker series, I think they're going to now do the Diamond Casino series, I'm guessing. Um, so that's absolutely cool, uh, absolutely awesome, sorry. Um, you can tell I'm super hyped for this, I can't even talk properly. Um, meanwhile, the auto websites will be flooded with more than a dozen new vehicles to purchase, so we're going to have at least 12 new vehicles, including rides for Bennies to customise, so that is absolutely awesome. We're going to get new Bennies vehicles, we've been all asking for new Bennies vehicles for ages, so that is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to customize those. New off-roaders. That is awesome. You guys who follow the channel know I'm a big off-road fan as well. Um, I actually released a concept DLC just a couple of days ago uh, about a possible off-road DLC concept. So new off-road vehicles is going to be awesome. New tunable sports cars and a pair of new open-wheel beauties. So we are going to be getting new open-wheel vehicles. This is one of them here and it's actually a Declasse um, open wheel vehicle that looks absolutely awesome i can't wait to get my hands on that thing does look really really cool um, push them to the limits in a new series of open wheel races or design your own street circuits with the open real wheel race creator so we're finally getting the open wheel race creator as well which is absolutely fantastic i know a load of people have been asking for that myself included so we'll now be able to make our own open wheel race tracks and we're getting more open wheel vehicles. It just keeps getting better and better. Uh, plus a number of general improvements and fixes. So everyone's been asking for like bug fixes, new graphics overhaul. Uh, don't know about the graphics overhaul but a lot of bugs and stuff should get fixed in this. Obviously, we're going to get a load of new bugs. This is Rockstar. Um, but we get, we're getting loads of quality of life improvements in this update. Uh, as well as our ongoing series of weekly special events. So that's the, um, you know, the weekly events and the bonuses and the discounts and all that kind of thing. They say they're going to carry that on. Uh, to take part in over the coming months, uh, once Los Santos... Once the Los Santos Summer Special hits GT Online in August 11th. So they have confirmed that it's going to be releasing on August 11th. Which is actually kind of curious because um, the weekly events have been happening on a Thursday over the last, I think, two years. Um, but those of you who remember GTA from a long time ago, they actually used to come out on a Thursday. Uh, uh, on a Tuesday, sorry. Uh, weekly events were on a Tuesday, then when Red Dead came out, Red Dead 2, they got the Tuesday update and GTA moved to a Thursday, and updates were typically coming out on a Thursday, but it looks like Rockstar is going back to Tuesday again, so whether Red Dead updates are going to be going to Thursday and GTA is going to be swapping to Tuesday, I'm not sure, whether they're both going to be releasing on Tuesday, that's something we'll just have to wait and see. And it says, stay tuned to Rockstar Newswire for more details and as well as more info on what's coming later in the year when Heist returned to GT Online's biggest update ever. 
So they already talked about this a little bit a couple of weeks ago where they mentioned that we're going to be getting a brand new heist in an entirely new location. That's going to be coming out probably with the festive surprise update in December. So don't expect that in this up and coming summer update. That's going to be releasing near Christmas. Um, but it does look like we're going to be getting some more information about that in the next couple of weeks, which is always good to hear. And they do talk about it again. They confirm that we are going to be getting heists and it's going to be the biggest update ever. So that's something to look forward to. But we are going to be getting this brand new DLC next Tuesday, the Los Santos Summer Special DLC. It looks absolutely fantastic. I'm waiting for a trailer. Hopefully we do get a trailer maybe on Monday. Um, if we do get a trailer, I'll be doing a trailer breakdown here on the channel. So if you're curious to see about that, then definitely subscribe to the channel. That's all I really wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, just thought I'd share this. It literally came out today um, as I'm making this video. It looks really exciting. We get a look at some of the new vehicles and um, some of the new activity locations as well as some improvements to the yacht. I'll be curious to see if they add anything new to the yacht as well. Uh, like any new rooms or anything like that. That'll be interesting to see. Uh, but that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed, please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. And uh, if you want to see the new update, I'm going to be streaming it when it comes out next Tuesday. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. That's going to do it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.